Good afternoon, Kelvin. Well, I started off this morning with the paintwork and uh, I took it to a guy. Anyway, we got back at nearly 11 o'clock. This was broke, that's been welded there. Uh, other than that, hang on, I can show you. These are now straight. So if you want to put a centre stand on it, I've tried one and it, it's good. So they're good to go. Right, I looked at your list and uh, there was a few bits where, okay, I did mention about the tie bars. So I've left them out of the equation for the powder coating. So right, what i got on my list is frame, subframe, swing arm. Let me sit down here a minute. Now, I've repaired... No, not the prettiest, but by the time it's powder coated, you won't really notice because it's very thin. So, yeah, day's welding ain't the best, but it'll be adequate until you find another one. So, I did that. That was just after I'd messed about with the frame and stuff. Right, casings are off. I've dressed this one up as best as I can. So, that's gloss. A spring that went down on your list to rebuild your back shock. Other casing, I've dressed this up as best as I can. Powder coating. Switch gears. I've dressed this one up as well. Excuse the focusing, it's not bad, it's better than it was. What else? Clock bracket. One bracket. Brake pad. Rear subframe. What weren't on the list? Brake calipers. Yep, two of them. The other switch gear. The bits for the brake calipers. Kickstart. Rear torsion arm. A grab rail. Bits for the kickstart. These pair of these. I've straightened them because they were bent up anyway. So I've had a straightening session on them. And basically what's left in the box is top handlebar clamps and basically your foot peg parts. Now for me, all that lot there is gloss. You're probably thinking, where's me yokes? Well, we'll get to that. What I've obviously got is because you do this all the time, if you're not careful, there'll be too much gloss on the bike. So what I've, what, I've, what I've done is, without you tell me different, because I'm not going to the powder coaters for a day or two yet. Handlebars, I'm just going to get them done satin. And basically, your engine planes, I was going to have them done satin and both of your yokes. Your top yoke is normally satin anyway. And the bottom yoke... Unfortunately, the bearing collapse has tried to remove it off the bottom yoke, but never mind. So that's the stuff for the satin box. First box is that. Okay, next satin is the wheels. We've got to strip the tires and discs off. And obviously, the back wheel, uh, there's the sprocket carrier as well as the brake plate. Then obviously the same, take the tire off. Um, the brake plate and sprocket carrier, should, I think they should be gloss. I think that's on your list. And the wheel sat in. So that is the powder coating list. So, yeah, dirty that is. So, yeah, I've gone through the bits that all want taking to the powder coaters. I hope you'll agree with that. Um, but that's been Dave's day. It's now 10 past four. I was up here at eight this morning. So I have been uh, quite busy repairing, straightening, bit of welding. And just basically fettling bits and pieces. So that's where we're at eight hours today. We're up to 14 hours now. I'll tell you that because it's £20 an hour. So you need to keep a mental note or write it down. So at the minute, Dave's up to 14 hours. Which is... What's that? 14. Um, 280 quid. That's my labour at the minute. Um... But like I say, tomorrow I'll have the tyres off. Basically everything will be ready to go to the powder coaters. 
after that it is going to be fettling the bits ready for everything coming back um i'll obviously clean the engine up do some tickling and some painting there and just prep a few bits the shock body uh, clean up all the plastics and basically dave will be on top of it all right mate if you want to know anything text or ring me thanks for watching dilly dilly